I wanted to have this sort of feeling of, of, of getting through, getting through each day. Every Day My Mother's Voice uh, was a song written to a brief. Ian Darling, the documentary filmmaker, approached me about writing a song for his documentary on Adam Goods called The Final Quarter. I knew a fair bit about Adam Goods because I love AFL and um, watched him play many times and followed the story pretty closely of um, his last few years when he pretty much got booed out of the game. Ian sent me a rough cut of the doco and and I started thinking about what to write for the song. Ian also sent me quite a lot of material about Adam, and also things that Adam him, himself had written. I remember seeing Adam come to the Brownlow Medal Count, the, one of the years he won, and he had his mother with him, which was unusual. Uh, and I also knew from the things that Adam had said in interviews and also what he'd written that um, his, his relationship with his mother was very strong and very close. I started writing the song. approached Dan Salton to come and sing it with me. Uh, I've worked with Dan before and I, I love his voice and I, I thought this story needed um, uh, both our voices together. We went into the studio with um, Steve Schramm as uh, engineer producer, Peter Luskin on drums, Bill McDonald on bass, um, Ashley Naylor on guitar and Cam Bruce on keyboards and um, knocked it off uh, in an afternoon. We did a film clip for the song at Port Melbourne Football Club in the change rooms. That was pretty good fun. Every day I 